My name is Ray Williams and uh, I'm here from uh, Salomone. We're doing a demonstration today on Melodyne and we're going to show you one of the cool uses of Melodyne where you can take the spectrum from one instrument and superimpose it on another instrument. And you can also look at the spectrum of certain instruments and exaggerate them or actually reduce the quality that is uh, sort of generic to that instrument. So today we have a saxophone and a clarinet. Uh, they have very different uh, spectra, and I'm going to play the clarinet, and we're going to try to observe sort of the qualities that make it sound like a clarinet. Now, if you look at the spectrum here, you would notice that every even, uh, the first series of even harmonics are much lower than the first series of odd harmonics. So this is a signature of the clarinet where it loves the odd uh, uh, harmonics more than the even ones. Now we can sort of exaggerate the clarinet-ness of this clarinet, if that's such a word, by using the macro here uh, to push all the odd, uh, or all the even harmonics down by moving the slider to the left, which is what I'm going to do right now. So the clarinet will sound more clarinet-like. So in this, in this, at this setting, all of the even harmonics are out of the, harmo uh, of the clarinet recording, so it's very, very pure, hollow sound. Now, we can also, I'm going to put it back to normal, we can also make this clarinet less clarinet-like by actually accentuating the even ones by pushing the slider to the right. Clarinet-like, less clarinet. A lot of these controls are built into Melodyne, and what are we going to do now? Well, we could cross-pollinate between completely different instruments. So I can go over to a saxophone, and this is a saxophone spectrum. It looks very, very different from the clarinet spectrum. And I'm going to play the saxophone, and it obviously sounds different too. Saxophone. So if I were to take the, the spectrum of the saxophone, which looks very different, I could paste it onto the clarinet, making this, the clarinet more saxophone-like. Very, very easy to do. I just copy spectrum from this spot right here. Go over to my clarinet and paste the spectrum here. So now the clarinet has taken on the sort of spectral shape of a saxophone. However, I still have these controls for making it more or less clarinet like because we know that the clarinet likes the odd harmonics and it doesn't really like the even harmonics. So with this sax superimposed on the original performance of this clarinet, we could make it even more clarinet like by moving it to the left. But despite that, it has the element of a saxophone spectrum, so it more sounds like a soprano sax. But it's very clarinet-like. And less. Now this kind of uh, work could really yield amazing results. We can now, for example, uh, take the spectra, and we're going to just you know, undo this to get back to original. I'm going to copy the spectrum of the clarinet and do the, the reverse, put it on the saxophone, right? So here's the saxophone again, just to get you hear it. We're going to paste the spectrum of the clarinet on the saxophone. So this kind of work could be done for, for many creative reasons. Melodyne could be used not just for tuning, 
but for some very, very creative uh, uh, uses with vocals, matching different guitars, uh, cross-pollinating completely different instruments. As long as there's a distinct signature in, on the one uh, file onto the other. Tips about getting good results with this, the cleaner uh, sound you could start with, the better, i.e. Uh, material that doesn't have a lot of reverb, doesn't have a lot of like chorusing or any kind of effect on it, distortion. Uh, the cleaner and purer you can get the original uh, signal, uh, the, the more uh, the, the results are better on the other side when you transplant that spectrum. So that's our uh, little segment today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please visit sweetwater.com. Uh, Melodyne is available there. And uh, thank you for watching.